Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hello everyone on YouTube, welcome to my channel, if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up, I would really 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 appreciate it. In this video I'm going to show you how to make your own animated movie without being a professional because I'm not a professional, uh, I am an amateur, but I was able to create my own animation film and at the same time I was able to put it on Amazon. Yes, I was able to post my movie on Amazon, Amazon Prime. You can go to www.lightyearsanimationstudio.com, click on the link here and there it is on Amazon. This was a long journey but it is possible. So I want to share this, I want to make this channel for people, you know, who may have an idea who wants to do this, but they probably don't, you know, probably say they don't have the skills or they don't have the finances to do a project like this. So I just want to share you some techniques that I use to, um, to make this film happen. So let's get right to it. Um, well, 10 years ago, um, I had an idea to do uh, um, a story, okay? And I wanted to be an animated story. So the first thing that you have to do first, you have to create the story and do what you call maybe like a screenplay or something like that. This is what I have here. And you have all the different characters, all the different environments and everything that's happening in the movie. You have to have a story, okay, before you can do anything. Now, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it because I'm not a professional, but this is what I did to, to finish my project, okay? So this is first, before you, even, before you can even do anything, you have to do this first, okay? This is what I had to do. Because when I pitched, because at first when I pitched the idea to the studio, they gave me an estimated cost of 10,000 to 15,000 just to start. Not to finish, just to start, just to assemble a team. Okay, so I didn't have the finances, you know, or the backing to do this. So I said, you know what, maybe I can do this myself. And I've never had no experience on doing any animation at all, okay? So the first thing I did, I went on YouTube, then I began to look at other, um, you know, the, you know, to teach myself the concepts of animation, introduction to animation. And the first one that I used, that I trained myself was Blender. Okay. Blender software. And then after Blender, then I began to get into Dash Studio. I would advise everybody, if anybody will learn, you know, like basic animation, and, and learn about animation and, and um, get your feet wet. I will highly recommend that studio. Um, um, they have a lot of models that you can use. This is that studio here, okay? And they have lots of lots of models that you can download for your project here. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go to Dash here. This is that studio here, okay? They got different characters, they got different um, different environments, creatures, animals, places, and things. Um, they got a lot of sci-fi stuff here. 
because I'm going to be honest with you, I am not a professional modeler. I do not know how to model. <laughs> I do not. So uh, when I began to explore all these uh, models, I said, wow, I can use some of this for my project. Okay. So like, for example, I'm working on a, um, a scene in which I downloaded here from um, from that studio, I use um, a downloaded city called the Gribble City. Here it is, right here. So I purchased the model, I downloaded it, and it saved itself into my uh, product folder here, which is here, Gribble City, you can see here. So basically, let me show you something here. Let's kind of delete all this. Let's delete this. Let me show you how I did this. What I did, what I did was, uh, after I downloaded it, it breaks everything up into pieces for you here. All these props, they're called props. And what you do is you just click on it right here. It's the first one. It's the second prop, then it builds on, it, it builds the city right for you, just like this. There you go, there we go, there we go. See what I'm saying? And then after I built this, you know, I'm not going to do it all, but um, after you create your your scene here, you can export this into an FBX format and bring it into Maya. That's what I did. This city here, this is the same thing here in Maya. Okay. So let me just back up just a little bit. So after I learned everything, after I trained myself, on that studio, then I went to what you call iClone. Okay, iClone has a lot of excellent tools to do a project with. You can do your own project in here, or you can export them to Maya, you know. So iClone has, um, let's see, they have what you call the marketplace here. This is iClone called the marketplace. They have um, lots and lots of models that you can use for your project here. Okay, you go here, you can go to the marketplace. Look at all this. Yep, and then you can, um, let's see, let's go here, let's go to the, go to help, and let's go to the marketplace here. Yeah, I'm gonna take you here. And you have human actors, you can create your own actors here. Okay. This will save you a lot of time here. Lots of, lots of, lots of time. Okay, let's go back. And they got outfits for your actors here. They got a lot of war bros. You can put your, you can dress your actors wherever you want. They got character creator. Let's see. Let's see, look at this. All this okay so I'll just give you an idea of what you can do this is what helped me on my project okay and then there's another one it's called um, turbo squid look at the city here um, this is a sci-fi city here you can download like we have like if you want like a sci-fi environment they have lots of cities that you can use at turbo squid turbo squid was very instrumental in helping me with my project okay so these are some of the tools that i use for my project okay so what i would recommend is um training yourself on that um, YouTube has lots of videos on that studio and icon and, and, and Maya but let me tell you something about Maya um, if you want to train and learn in Maya go to Mike Hermes um, YouTube channel he has tons of information on how to use the interface of Maya I highly recommend that you understand how to use my we import those models from those other um, platforms you know this guy is very he has he has like maybe over a thousand videos on Maya 
so I highly recommend his channel, okay? Okay, so basically what I want to just want to leave what we're going to do on this channel, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end of how I created my project. And hopefully that can help you along the way. Maybe you may have a project that you're trying to do, you know, but you don't have to be a professional. You know, because I'm not a professional. I'm not, I'm an amateur, but I'm still learning as I'm going. Okay. So basically what I did, I'm just going to show you this before we go. Um, I created the city in Maya, I mean, I'm sorry, in Dad Studio. And then what I did was I exported it into an FBX format. Okay. And then what I did was I imported it into Maya. This is the same city right here. But I kind of, what I did was I kind of scaled it out. I did some things to the city a little bit. I'm not going to go on to detail, but these are the different, different views that I use to kind of, you know, scale. This is... This is the reason why you should um, get some training in Maya so you can be able to do some of the things that I did, okay? So what I did was um, I put what you call the image plane back here with the clouds. I downloaded it from Google. And I kind of gave it like this really stormy, like, because this is like an apocalyptic type of event. You know, the city is being attacked. And so that's another feature that I use in my, it's called the visor. You go to Windows, you go here, General Editor, click down to the, see it says visor here, you click on visor. And here it gives you all these like different particle effects that you can use in your scene. So for example, like um, I use um, like fire, smoke. I gave it like a haze type of environment. You know, like, like smoke is coming up. And also, um, I created the fire. So you can see, like, this one of the buildings are on fire. So let's click on that. What you do is you click on it, middle mouse button, drop it right there. And there you go, you got it. Okay. So, what we're going to do is I want you to show you how detailed Maya is, or how the image, how, how Maya renders these images so clear. So let me show you here. Let's click on image. And I'm doing this in my mental ray. Okay, we're gonna get into that very soon. Or maybe on the next video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more. But... Here we go. I hope it shows the fire. Sometimes it does, sometimes, sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Hope you get something out of this video. This is a new channel, so I'm starting at the bottom. So just bear with me. But I guarantee as we get on, as we move on, things gonna get much better. I'm not much of a speaker. <laughs> and excuse my raspiness, my voice. Um, I was diagnosed with a, with a condition about several years ago um, that required me to have surgery on my vocal cord, so that's why the raspiness it sounds like while I'm talking, so I apologize for that. Just in case you had any questions about that. Okay, here we go. Should be here in a few minutes. I just want to show you the render effect of Maya and how this city that you saw in that studio, how would it look at Maya? And this is the scene that you want to create in your project. There we go. Mm -hmm. So you notice how hazy it looks a little bit. That's the type of effect that I wanted to have.
but the bed looks excellent. I should have moved this image plane over just a little bit. You know, that's a little problem right there. But I just want to give you just a just an idea of what you what you're gonna be dealing with, what you're gonna be seeing when you be creating your scenes. something out of this video and the next video I show we'll start from the bottom and then we'll work ourselves up to the top on how to create your own animated movie on a very 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 short budget okay and you don't have to be a professional okay thank you have a good day